The Big Breakfast Written by David Hunt and illustrated by Alex Richter Ding ding, ding ding Dad came into Chip's room He was ringing a bell Chip sat up in bed It's time to get up, said Dad Mom's away and we have a lot of job to do Dad rang the bell on the stairs. Time to get up, he called. Do we have to? Ask Biff. It's the weekend. Yes, said Dad. Mom, get back tonight. The house is a mess. We must tidy up. I suppose so. (sighs) Yawn, Chip. Good, I will start breakfast. Say that the children came down for breakfast. Bad news, said Dad. The milk has gone off. I have burned the toys, and we have run out of juice. I'm sorry. Oh no, said Keeper. I'm hungry. We will have to go to the supermarket, said Dad. We need some more food. I have got a better idea said Chip. Let's have breakfast in the cafe. You can eat what you like, said Dad. Then we will do the shopping. Hooray, said Keeper. I'm going to have a big breakfast. I don't like blueberry pancakes, said Beef. I want egg, said Keeper. Why not have a Keeper? Keeper, said Chip. Only if you have chips, Chip, said Keeper. At home, Dad told the children to start their jobs. I will put the shopping away, he said. You go and tidy your room. That big breakfast should give you lots of energy. The children look at the mess. Let's tidy up later, said Chip. I'm so full, I can't move. No chance of work then, thought Floppy. Just then the magic key began to glow. The magic took them back in time. It took them in a big house. It took them into a large hall with a big staircase. It's still dark outside. Ding, ding. A bell began to ring. Suddenly, a a door opened. A little girl came in. She was holding a candle. And Rose, you must be the new servant. The housekeeper will see you now. Follow me, she said. Rose took them down a corridor into a large storeroom. The housekeeper was waiting for them. You're late, she said sternly. There are, there are lots of jobs to be done. She gave the children a list of jobs begin with the clinic, she said. It has to be done before breakfast. Ah, I see you bought a dog. Good. Rose took them to a large kitchen. This is Mrs. Fry, said Rose. She is a cook. Hello. And Mrs. F- said Mrs. Fry, I see you have bought a dog. Good. Was everyone pleased that we have bought a dog? Asked Chip. Mrs. Fry pointed at a wooden wheel. Put your dog in here, she said. I may not like this, thought Floppy. Rose put Floppy inside the wheel. The wheel turns the meat over the fire, said Rose. It stopped the meat burning. You look like a giant hamster, laughed Keeper. We must, now we must hurry. There's so much to do, said Rose. Lord Plum will be up soon. We must finish the job. Then we can get his breakfast ready. Mrs. Fry put the meat on his bed. We need this for Lord Plum's breakfast. 
She looked at Floppy. Keep walking and don't stop, she said. Funny way to get a walk, thought Floppy. What else is for breakfast? asked Beef. Keepers, oyster bread, beetroot, pancake, ale, and ice cream. Nothing too fancy, said Rose. I will get it ready. You get on with the job on the list. Beef had to scrub the clothes clean. She beat the rocks. Then she had to make some bread and put powder on some wigs. Jeep had to clean all the fireplace. Then he had to collect a lot of coal. Next, he had to polish the silver and polish all the boot. Come quickly, said Rose. The food is ready. We must take it to the dining room. Hurry up and don't forget Lord Plum's newspaper, said Mrs. Fry. The children put out the dishes on a big table. Hurry up, said the housekeeper. Lord Plum will be down soon. He won't want to see you in here. At last, breakfast was finished. Was Lord Plum happy with his breakfast? Asked Keeper. No, said the housekeeper. He forgot to iron his newspaper. I'm worn out, said Keeper. I never want another walk, said Floppy. At least we can have a rest now, said Chip. A rest, said Rose. We have to start getting ready for lunch. Suddenly, the magic key began to glow. It was time to go home. What a relief, said Biff. That was hard work, said Biff. That came into Biff's room. Hurry up, he said. We have still got a lot of job to do. Then we had to work floppy. Oh no, said everyone. Early next morning, the children made mom a surprise f breakfast. What a big breakfast, said mom. You have gone to so much trouble. It was nothing, said Biff. Z and